Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing The Gunk. <laughs> it's a good name, isn't it? The Gunk. All I know about this game is that it's made by Image and Form, I think, or produced by them. Somehow they're involved. They're the guys that do Steam World, and and all Steam World games are great. Also, that other game they made, I think it was called Ants, but I, that can't be right. That was also great. Ant Hill. I've no idea what this game is. I, just, I know the genre is action adventure, but that doesn't help because that's like ninety percent of video games. It's complicated. I think I have a vacuum and an aim button. I was about to do some heavy parkour action, but in hindsight, it's down there. <gasps> Plant. Hey, here's something. You feel like analyzing some scan data? That's what we're here for. Scan away. Ah, oh, scanning in space games. I love it. Metroid Prime, No Man's Sky, Subnautica. Love to scan. Mineral. No practical use. I think that's a lie, and I think the practical use is that it gives out light. How do I get rid of that? That's how. Is this a survival crafting action adventure game? I don't know. Oh, it's called the gunk. This could be the gunk. The aforementioned gunk. She said it! She said the thing! Keep your mask on. That's, that, that applies to all aspects of life. Okay, so it's a glove, not a false arm. And also we know that She's not got like a full spacesuit on, it's just a mask. This is quite satisfying to do. I'm already on board for this. What can I say? I like to suck things. <gasps> what have we made? The cradle of life. Maybe it's like Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Tell me about this glowing pool. What is it? Who is it? How does it work? I really recognize the voice actress for this character. Or possibly voice actor, I, I think. I think he, I think voice actors preferred now. I recognise the voice. Scout for an. Oh, wait, hang on. I should run through it a few times. Eh, get rid of this gunk. What if I? No. Okay, I can't. S ah, there we go. I reckon if I suck this gunk up. No, that's not helping. 
Just go a different way. Just go another route over over yonder. Yes. <gasps> Purple crystal. What is this? Could be anything. Talk to me. A luminescent crystal. It's a light source. Which you means I was lesson. wrong about Before the first one. I could get a garden of my own back home. What would you do? Pay our bills? I meant after that. I know. I feel like this is going to have a deeper meaning as a game. A dream. But I kind of hope it's just about earning money. Actually, just, I like it when a game is, yeah, the plot is just make bunts, get rich, don't die trying, that won't help. Pretty sure that was the plot of Borderlands. Screw it. Left or right, let's go left. Ah, uh, I love this improbable spelunking. Nothing grander. This place seems like it's big enough for the bunny, right? Yeah, but I oh, can't take her down. That's a ravine. Care to clean it up? Oh yeah. It'll be our pleasure. Ah, the joy of sucking one's gunk. Hold left trigger for precision. I know. I got precision gunk sucking. I know how to do these things. I have learned. Remember in Star Wars, the gonk droids, which I feel like I only know the name of from nice either, it was either Star Wars Battlefront or Lego Star Wars. In Lego Star Wars, you could play as them. That was. That was grand. Oh, I've fallen. Okay, look at that. I've made an LZ landing zone. I know the lingo. What the hell? Ooh, ooh, is this going to be like an Okami? Where you, you purge the negative influence in that evil spirits in this, the gunk, and then the world springs back to life. I like that. Kurt's wearing a tie. I'm very here for that. Yesterday he ran all of my tools through the washing machine. Uh, yeah. That storm was rough, and I don't like the look of that river. Run some diagnostics on Bunny just it's very important when you haven't got the money to do decent facial animation to keep the camera zoomed away. If I was willing to go forward with that joke, I'd now pull my camera away. But it will make editing a pain, so it's not worth it. I could have just moved back in hindsight. That would have achieved the same effect. I think it worked. I think, I think it. So you're gonna you keep hearing those achievement pop-up sound effects, but you can't see it. This looks interesting. Ball-shaped plant. What's up with your attention span? Are you gonna clean up some gunk? Really compact. Looks like it could burst any minute. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Let's plant it. Hold RT to clog the plant in your glove. Uh, scan this thing. What about this? No practical use. Damn you, plants! What am I doing? Collecting metal. I don't really know how to do that. I'm sure it will be obvious. Ooh, what are these? I must know more. It's a royal pan. It's the same thing. It's just a different color. Damn it! Oh, plants, big roots, clean water, this thing. Pick up materials, hold right trigger. Oh, ah, yeah, this is it. This is definitely it. This looks right. 
Boom. I think she said solid solder because platinum won't get you any any silver. Titanium, chromium, vanadium. It's Kevlar fiber. On the one hand, I really want to open up the upgrade menu and see what it's all about. On the other hand, I want to get like a good amount of stuff, like non-gunk stuff. But instead, I got you. And this lovely glove. Okay, now the way she's saying it's implied it's not a glove and it's a full-on prosthetic, but... I can't get him from this angle. I'll come back from him. What are these? They look like carrots. Angel kernel. The leaf-like fruit body of this beet mushroom can be separated into long fibers. Hmm. This is a vine to get back down, isn't it? Yeah, you know it. Oh, Christ, nearly walked off the edge. I don't think there's full damage, though. I've, I've seen no sign of it as yet. What's this? I got that already. Okay, Bex. I think I got what I need. Damn, what's Back. this big fucker? It's in human nature to just want to scan everything, isn't it? That's it's what kept the cavemen going. They would they would scan the horizon and they just couldn't stop. Sweet. A shortcut. Hmm. This glowing stuff sure looks interesting. Oh uh, no. This is not worth harvesting. I might as well throw that seed thing in there and see what happens. Okay, take me how. Kurt's not taking cover. Have I not scanned it? No, it's just not touching it. Um. Okay. Uh, glove grip, soldering, hydraulic braces. Oh, these are upgrades available. So I need 20 and I've got 24. Can't install, not a workbench. I'm oh, not a workbench. Um, it's kind of implied I can plant something there, but it's not teaching me how. And I feel like there'll be a hotkey for it, so I'll, I'll just wait and see. Are you, are you a workbench? No. There was kind of a big thing of Kurt arriving and then he didn't do anything. Right, so can't have that. Take more hits before you go down. Interesting. I can make hydraulic braces and this. Well I'll take this first. Ah, uh, here we go. Get us new pumpkin. I'll be able to rip up that stubborn alien plant for yeah. sure. Yeah, definitely fake arm. Fake hand. Stop chatting with your glove and just go pick the damn plant. And I'll make this while I'm here as well. Hydraulic wingtip shoes. Uh, I can't see any visual improvement over the shoes. I was I was hoping that'd be a factor, but it doesn't appear to be. Press left trigger to aim and right trigger to throw. Oh good, this gives me an arc. I think I can do it from here without without getting closer. If this was a male character, she would have made that throw. No, that makes sense. Ah, look what I've made. Wait, hang on. Scan. Love, I got gunk to get. Looking for a signal. Climb up the ridge. Hold left trigger for procession. I know that. Behold, I have degunked the area. That looks like an enemy vine. There we go. 
Fowl's tongue. This creepy looking plant looking giant fungus has the ability to curl up to protect itself from harm. Removing said threat will make it unfurl into a bridge. Oh, so I think it's already unfurled, but if there were danger, it would curl up. Ah, so if I find another seed, I can plant it there. I, there's a chance, though. What if I go back? Has that original source just regrown? I can see that being the case. It's, uh, it has. It has. It's that kind of a game. So, so far, this feels like a fairly old-fashioned. Yep. And a dead. Okay. Not too harsh on the death front. This feels like quite an old-fashioned sort of adventure platforming game. With the more modern element of... Uh, oh, I could just throw it up, couldn't I? With the, with the upgrade stuff being like the more modern... Part of it. My seed. If I was being forward thinking, I'd just chuck a bunch of these up here just in case there's more to it than this. And there. Ah, oh, I feel so so like a boss. Hey, why don't you just grab a grill snack to hold you over? I suspect. Sorghum, mmm, delicious. I think that's a kind of lagoon. Does it grow back? I don't think it does. What do we got here? Some big old looking mushrooms. These patches of mushrooms are surprisingly sturdy. They should be able to handle the weight of a human without issue. It okay. Oh. oh no, it's already there. Well, fuck it, I'll go down there. Oh, this place looks promising. Seems like there's some stuff we could use here. Collect as much as you can. I'm not liking the fact that I can already make an armor upgrade despite having not remotely run into anything that can hurt me. Because that's red. Does that mean I haven't scanned these? Well, that's not anyway, but still. Oh. Missed that. So apparently you can, you can detach stuff without sucking it in, which is slightly annoying. But I've, I feel like... Well, I can run. I've I just considered trying to run, and it does work. Brilliant. I don't need anything, do I? Oh. Oh no! So I've I've got these. Energy siphon and Kevlar fiber. I don't have, and I need those materials. For that this menu is not overly easy to read. I must say. It might be a case that you haven't overly got to worry about this sort of nonsense. It's just, you know, collect everything. Maybe you should head back. I don't want to lose contact. This vegetation doesn't look right. It's like the gunk is sucking the life out of it. Let me do something about it. I'll head back soon. We're imminently about to enter combat, I feel. And so far, my instinct is that if there is combat, it's either going to be a bit like in... Astroneer, where it's, you know, mostly just plants and you've just got to slowly deal with it. Or we're going to get a weapon. And to start with, we'll just have to run or maybe pick up and hurl things. Not yet, though. It's not there yet. This is the calm before the eventual storm. I get that the gunk can obfuscate the plants and suppress them, but what about the minerals? I guess there weren't any in that batch. Oh, oh, we found a thing. Oh, 
Enemy shots fired. There's a giant space anus. I bet that this will be really satisfying when you get like a like a mega suck and you can just like really quickly clear, clear an area. I'm willing to bet that. Right, can I? Oh, I've got to scan it first. What we got? It's a gunk dripper. I think that was one of the flanimals. I've scanned 15 objects. That's what I got that for. I just had a sudden flashback to if I was following like a like an exact guide for this game and it says like yeah and just after you make that upgrade you'll get the scanning thing and, and I've just been bad at it. I'm gonna try and shoot up. No. Now nah, I'm in danger. Yep. That was an error. It doesn't actually hurt you to touch this stuff. I don't know why I was weary of running at it. Does beg the question of what is the gunk dripper dripping? All right, let's get over there. Okay, it does it does hurt you if you get too much into it? But I suspect this is the kind of game where there's not necessarily a health meter. It's just take too much damage too quickly and you'll die. And I have to suspect that because the the only alternative is that. I'm not actually scanning anything. Is yeah, maybe the uh the lights on her back are health a la Dead Space. But I don't think that's the case. This game is from it's it's giving me vibes. A little bit of uh of Mario Sunshine and and like a reverse Splatoon almost. It's like I just want to get in here, I want to tidy up the place, and and that's it. Returning life to the area is a boon. Them paying off their debts is a benefit, but it's not. I'm really just here for the for a bit of neatness and tidiness. Where does the gunk go? No one knows. Why does the gunk dripper not count as part of the gunk? I don't know. Is there something to plant this in? No, but there it is. Still got it. Of course I still got it. I nailed a shot earlier. One leaf. Felt like a whole plant earlier. They're the technology to like build shit out of just the generic parts. I feel like they can print beer. Oh, a new thing. What could it be? It looks like a it's a jeweled apple. Alright, gimme. Oh, it just turns into a bunch of metal. Oh, and another thing that I and a squid lantern. Light source. I quite like the way it does this scanning where it's got that faux science nature to it, but if you pay attention to a single line, uh, like, hang on, there, look, the, the value section, it just tells you whether or not you can ignore it or not, or if it's, or if it's anything to worry about, that's, that's good. Oh, do we think the gunk can also infect the local fauna and we're just about to meet some? I suspect that's the case. The river looks looks gunked to me. What is this thing? Can't scan it. It's not relevant. I am so far from my ship. I, I unless this is gonna do like a Dark Soulsy kind of thing where I've looped round, I severely hope that it all moves. <gasps> it's a Pokemon. It looks like a Xerneas. 
which I think was the mascot of Pokemon X. Which goes to show how much effect Pokemon X had on me because I played it and... Okay, so it is, it is a, a hucking sort of a combat system. Come here. I got alien bits out of that. Just generic. It, it did just say generic alien, didn't it? I'll be right with you, Poker Pokemon up there. I'll be. I've just got to degunk this place. Probably gonna regret not scanning it sooner. It's fine. Hey, hey, then you're solid. I'm here. I'm spirit of spirit, guardian of the. I tried to say guardian, and then I changed to spirit, and I got to spirian. I'm the spirian of nature. Where are you going, beautiful? Kind of glad it left. It it had what I would describe as a hoity attitude. Um, there's a thing up here. I don't think it's anything. So now, now I'm at a crossroads because there was a route I could go back there. There's a thing here which is shiny. It must be good. It's got construction value. It's a source of fiber. The older you get, the more and more you start looking for sources of fiber in your life. Uh, I think if I go down there, I'll bring me out on top of there somehow. Or it will just give me access to the seed I need to put in the pool, which will allow me to get up there. That's more likely. My immense practical experience playing video games tells me, games tells me there's a chance if I get to where that deer is... It will be infected and be like uh, the first boss of the game. I'm, I'm going to make that prediction now. And hope that I bother to play this long enough in this video to see that. This planet is literally a paradise when the gunk's gone. Oh, God damn it. I think... Uh-oh. I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm alright. I thought I'd... Uh, I thought I'd got myself lost then, or stuck, or soft locked. And again there. Right, I'm not even going to attempt to get it on the on the bit in between, just over the entire river. Now where was it? There was a pool down here, wasn't there? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Now there was a there was a route to go back the. You know what? I'm going to go back through that little tunnel. Because it's bound to be something, isn't it? She can't swim. I'm going to go <laughs> back there. Should, should I take one of them with me? Nah. Oh, god damn it. Should have taken one with me. It's weird. It's not like a forwards to back cut, uh, not cut scene, but like guided path when you go through that. You can still maneuver a bit, which is why I keep pausing when I go through it, because I'm getting stuck on an invisible bit of scenery. Alright, what does this get me? I bet it'll be something good. Huh. Oh, treasure for little old me? Yes, please. Oh, this is something different. It's a tape trunk. What's in it? Loads of fiber. And a quick path back down, no less. Yes. Right, where was I going? Yeah, this way. Let's let's follow that weird deer like creature. See if my prediction about it's it's being a boss will ring true. 
fiber. Yeah. I hope there's a lot of upgrades in this. I, when a game has upgrades, I want there to be like too many upgrades. Construction material. What's in it? It's a hog fungus. Organic. Mmm, everyone loves organic. Hey, Ronnie. I had Kurt get a water sample from the river. It's thick with gunk. I hear ya. Yeah, I know. The stream doesn't look too inviting out here either. What if the camp gets flooded? Honey would not approve of that. You know how there's some like unspoken rules of the controls, like click the left trig uh, left stick. That's how you sprint. But at least in this, it is. I I vote that third person games, the right stick should shift your shoulder view from one shoulder to the other. Uh, so if you're injured, just leaving the corrupted area will heal you. That makes sense. I'll I'll buy that. All right. There was no finesse to that. I've, I thought that was going to be like a, a real endeavour, but no. There we go. I'm entirely turned around as well. Like, I feel like I've missed things. I've got I've gone past things. Don't have a map. Don't have a map yet. I feel like I'll get one. Hopefully it'll be a map on the order of the one in Jedi Fallen Order, like a proper proper like 3D dog's bollocks affair with like all the all the info in there. Yoink. I thought I'd been here briefly, but it turns out I've actually just found a small treasure trove. What's this? A wing beat. Yeah, give me all that organic goodness. Um, so that was there. I'm, I'm lost. I'm very, I'm very turned around. I've been over this before. This I remember. By clearing the gunk, I got access to that. So that's probably a good thing. And then I ran around here. And I jumped. I jumped down there, didn't I? See, this is the thing. I f I think all of that endeavor. I'm following an animal, and it's the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. I'm just gonna check it a little bit further. I was gonna say that I I I I think a lot of these little diversions are just to get more crafting resources. I don't like the ones where there's there's too many of the gunk doors near each other because they kind of look like spider webs and it sort of gives me pause for thought as to what I'm doing. Also, it's total horseshit that she can't mantle that ledge. I've seen her mantle ledges of that height before. Oh, crap. There we go. Damn it, that's the same height and she just jumped from further away. Don't like that. Lazy platform and design. Oh, here we go. There's a f there it is. Is it leading me to the gunk? Is that the system? It turns out, you know, in the end, the gunk is actually a good thing and the... the the planet hasn't got enough innate energy to sustain life all over it. So by by having the gunk on some of it, it means the rest can live, and we're 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 going to end up killing the whole thing. I'm going to assume that's the situation. I think that was loosely the plot of Avengers: Infinity War and Thanos' entire plan. A few steps have changed around here and there, but I'm pretty sure that was it. Hmm. I think I've got it all. But it's not clearing. As ah, little little recess back here. Ah that load of gunk clusters. 
Well, I'll clear up this area and I'll make that the end of the video. And that's just a web. All right, let it drip. Let the, there we go. All right, I was very ropey on the platform in there. It's um, fortunately it's not too hard platforming because it's not it's not super precise. It's not Mario, the gold standard of platforming. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Exactly but, uh, Let's get out onto this vista and just see what I've earned from my degunking. Oh, we're going to find out there's a bunch of... What's that? Momentum oscillator? Oh, I thought it was a drill. I thought we were going to get into some proper... Uh, what's it called? Um, Steam world action. Right, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to make this a... I'm going to do a part two of this because I want to see a bit more. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.